All right, all right, team, team, you are being aggressive right now. I mean, Bod Watchers, look, Typhlosion's already asleep. All right, Typhlosion's awake now. Bod Watchers, you got to see me wake up Typhlosion. But what's up, everyone? We're, uh... <laughs> We took a day off yesterday. Much needed, much needed. But... Getting the team ready to uh, embark on this next journey. Because we are... We are definitely in the end game. Of the main story. And I honestly can't wait to play through this. Um... <laughs> I also can't get over that. I, you know. I made myself look like a certain anime character. If you know who that is, please let me know. VOD watchers, that includes you too. But, uh. Look at that, look at that space-time rift. It's getting pretty big. And now Garchomp's asleep. While we wait for chat to roll in, let's uh, see what else happens. Some days I don't understand Discord. Sometimes it posts very quickly, sometimes it doesn't. So let's dive into this. We got the squad ready to roll. And then we got this little guy. This little Monferno who we're gonna hopefully get to an Infernape and hopefully now we're gonna Hey, hey what's up man? Alright, everyone back in the Pokeballs. Alright. Let's um let's check the inventory because I want to make sure revives are good, potions are good. Don't have a lot of pokeballs. I'm all right. I'm good. Got out of work. Work, you know, ate some dinner. And now I'm ready. I'm ready to finish this game. Hopefully tonight. But. We got the squad. The Typhlosion. The Luxray. The Staraptor. The Scizor. The Garchomp. And the Monferno. Because, you know. I like me some, I like me some Infernape. But let us make our way to try to stop Kamado from ruining everything. And clear my name. That's the big thing about this. Is like, I want my name cleared. Cleared. I got booted out of the village. That, that was not cool. Alright, what do we got? That is a... Is that a Luxray and a Luxio? That is a Luxray and a Luxio. That, no, that's just a Luxray. That's just a sleeping Luxray. Oh, now a time distortion's forming too? Great. That's exactly what I want right now. 
Oh, come on! I'm not trying to fight! <laughs> Over here. That is oh, that is a big electivire. It is. It's a very beautiful game. Okay, can we not? Nope. Nope. You maybe get on weird air. We're good. We're good. That Electivire was trying to get me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know you're cold. Yo, Electivire, you good? Alright, alright, I vibe with it. I vibe with it. I, I vibe with the dance moves. vibe with it. Alright, let's move. Let's keep moving. Let's also see what's in there, because we're about to go into a cave. Oh, the distortion's all the way down there. I could always go there and fast travel back to the camp. This is why I don't beat this game. This is why I haven't beaten this game yet. Because I'm a glutton for punishment. damage, that's the thing. Oh, that's a Gludra. Oh, come on, really? Come on, backstrike, backstrike. Alright, now it's angry. Oh. I'm gonna take flight and reposition myself. This actually... Alright, I should have known better. I got all right. We got we got a gummy. We got a gummy. That's already a win for right now.
any house. I'll take that. Great beyond dust noir. That's a good move. It's mag mortar. We're gonna try to get this. <laughs> Alright, I caught shield on.
Yomp, yomp. I catch this. Ah, oh, why do you hate me, Gudra? Why do you hate me? I just want you in the Pokeball without having to go crazy. I just want you in the ball without you having to go crazy. I mean, you're a big enough target. me all right um well that strategy didn't go well that gotta keep reminding myself of that now come on Gudra just, just turn your back on me you don't see me you don't see me you don't acknowledge my existence there you go now just, just turn around for me Now stay in the ball. At this point, I have no... I don't care. I'm scared to find out what level this is. Alright, you know what, you know what. Star Raptor, go. Maybe I can catch it unaware. And that'll help my cause. Not when it's looking right at me, though. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, it's just a level 70. It's no big deal. We're just gonna get two attacks off, so we're just gonna go in for a strong style and pray. Strong style close combat, come on. Half. Too stun the move. Okay, okay. Now it's obscured. Ooh. 
Well then. All right. Maybe? It's obscured. Maybe better paralysis? Alright, see, that's fine. Because I can deal with the obscurity. As long as you're not swinging on me. And you're swinging on me. Okay, cool. Alright, Scizor. You literally cannot do a thing against this. We're gonna chuck an Ultra Ball at it, though. Let's go! Alpha Gudra. Alright, alright. I'm, uh, extremely content with that. I'm extremely content with that. Alright, let's, uh, climb a mountain. an alpha probo pass right there or is that just a wild one no it's an alpha all right i don't want to deal with too many alphas right now who saw me oh it's these glider i'm like who is on me Most pass. Nice. And that's a big nope. Alright, we caught an Alpha Gudra, though. I'm extremely excited about that. We got an Alpha Gudra. That is definitely one I wanted. I just want to see if there's anything else cool over here, now that I'm, uh, flying overhead. <laughs> yes, I, I could use a rest. This wanderer could use a rest. All right. 
right. I picked up two sunstones then? Oh yeah, that's right, I have max revives. Alright, that can go. That can go. Now that I know I need the recipe for these, these can just chill in the box. Because that's how I'm going to make money. And, uh, yeah, that can go too. That's just going to take up space. Alright, let's, uh... And we'll just climb up, uh, climb up on top with Sneezler, because I do not want to uh, actively deal with um, falling fist gliders. That's that's dope. That stinks. That stinks. Well, the point is, just let me in. Let me in. Let me in! Let me in! The A button helps. Am I about to get bodied? Who's standing in my way? Lore. Oh, I wanted to grab an iron trunk, but lore. Benny? Ho oh, ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster Commodore's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even those old bones to work. These old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I'll suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. As Commodore's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds the Commodore won't, can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Commodore who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Okay, that was a nice little transformation sequence. When I heard you managed to quell all those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my, head and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. All right, Benny. Yeah, leading with Monferno might not have been a smart move. Yeah, um, 
Let's see. All right, Star Raptor. Let's go in with Air Slash. And then a strong style Air Slash. Oh, look at that. Okay, Benny. Did you just do it like a summon? Alright, you're not gonna give me much of a choice, are you, Benny? I'll go in for Brave Bird. Agile Hypnosis, huh? Power gem. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't have a choice. Garchomp, let's go. And Dragon Claw will do just fine. Ooh, that's a... D-Gleam? Yep, D-Gleam. That's definitely his ace. Get it with the Iron Head, Scizor. There we go. There we go, Scizor. Who's next? Sneasler. Oh. Getting close, Scizor. Typhlosion out just yet. There you go, Luxray. There you go. Glade? So we had both Guardi and Gallade. Alright. I don't like it either. I need Thunder Wave to land. There we go. Typhlosion. Let's show him an Inferno player parade. Let's go. All right, Benny, you old chum. Back excited. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, 
I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for your skill, the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Maximus. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui. To try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you must... You sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from the, within the space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself. By force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than the human stomach can handle. Oh, he healed the squad too. Yay. All right, so we're going to make we're going to do two things here. We're going to evolve to Infernape and then we're going to get it out of my party because oh. That do be scary. Yeah, it is my boy. All right, but before we do anything else, yeah. Oh. Just because I have a feeling that last battle is going to be brutal. Oh, a wisp. We are not going to run this. Yeah, I want to see my Pokemon, cause uh, I might have to bring the big boy. Physical, huh? And plus, Steel Dragons are really good typing. Alright, we're gonna move you here. And then... Oh, I wish you were ready. I may pull... Walrein might be too underleveled, but... Alpha Gudra might be the only re way I get out of this. It's like... Crobat, as nice as you... They gave Crobat rest? Okay, wasn't ready for that one. Yeah, everyone else is probably too low. So... As much as I don't like the idea of it, I just... This game has proved me wrong left and right. Alright, who's my lowest? Scarchomp. I'm gonna start. And more so. How's my money looking? Oh, I got plenty. Alright, cool. We should be good. 
We should be good. Alright, let's see what, uh... You got it, Benny. I will. By any means necessary. Well, this is it. Have you bought everything you need? Oh, yeah. You can tell this is like the final. We are. We are definitely within the final. So much so, I'm going to drop a hard save just because. Alright, you two. How do we do this? You've brought the red chain. Maximus, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's been uh, apparently been uh, that blah, 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 blah. that Pokemon that's apparently been sighting through the rift. I I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamino stopped us from heading towards the temple. Before I even take another step. Move change. Everyone's moveset's getting one more look. how not optimal this is but I'm gonna I'm gonna need it captain commander whatever you may be you again 
I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me. What do you even think the red chain is some trick on Maximus' part? He worked mighty to get that mightily to get that thing. And I should know, I was with him the whole time. Oh, okay, admin, play in your hand. I saw him rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all of this on his own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if I was certain, if I was to simply put my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? I mean, valid point, valid point, but it's me! It's Maximus! You love me! Then work together with us! Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility! Fine! Enough! Let fate decide what happens, Neff. Whichever us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokémon, Maximus. Today we battle in earnest. I understand. If it's a battle you want, it's a battle you're gonna get. Oh, great. We're gonna start off with Braviary. What's this thing's typing? Psychic flying. It's not going to do anything. Dragon Claw it is. He recalled it? Interesting, Commodo. For Clefable. Then in that case... I'll bring out Scizor. I'll get in with the Iron Head. There we go. Snorlax now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Then I'll have to make this count with Star Raptor. And a little close combat. That was a good chunk of damage. We'll do this again. Ah, it was a big giga impact. Okay. So we know he has high horsepower. I don't want to use Gudra unless I have to. There we go, there we go. 
golem. Earth power says hi? So all that's left is his Braviary. Esper Wing, what the? F what? All right, all right. And then I'm, you know what? I didn't want to use it, but that's what Gooper's for. With a move that never misses at strong style. Good job, Gudra. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. All right, Kamado. Dang. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Maximus, the fates have decided. I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Save that for later? That's gonna go in the scrapbook. Commander, I know I have no right to ask you of it any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Eh, I was gonna do it anyway. Don't worry, Commander, we got the red chain. I was gonna say that I get sent back down the mountain. <laughs> the Temple of Sinnoh, also known as Spear Pillar. Hey, Zizu. Yeah, it's beyond your control, all right. Arsaluna. Again. Wait, did I miss two statues? I did. Weird Air, Cleaver, Ursaluna, Lilligant, Basque Legion, Arcanine. What? Oh, Electrode. Sneasler, Avalog, Braviary. I wonder just what's happening on the on the other side of that space-time rift. You can do this, Maximus. I believe in you. Thanks, Hydra. The moment has come. Alright, let's make something happen. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what we can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. Adamant, you good? You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Nani? It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. For the fight to come. Take these. Just had Ultra Balls ready for me. I 
Hello, Dialga. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ooh, I like this remix. Frame one? Close combat? Ooh, that did more damage than I wanted to. Strong style earth power. Oh, okay. Just need to chip away at it. Actually, Luxray with T Wave might be able to make this a little easier. I know that won't kill. Or, you know, you can just miss. Alright, we'll take that. Let's try this again now. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, now we're just gonna stop throwing balls. Come on, Dialga. Alright, that was easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I caught Dialga! When did you two show up? He caught it! I'm just a shotgun. The red chain shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the Lynx. Our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Magnemus, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battle and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. What did you teach me, Akari? What did you teach me? Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzy one comes to fright. Now, human, fight with me! <laughs> You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed the bits. No way even Magnus could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that one now. Did you forget who I am? I'm kind of built different. Hi, Palkia. Everyone retreat! All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget the fancy cop. Book it, come on. 
We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, you can't just leave it here. You dunce. You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. We gotta get gone before we get got. Oh, we really made it all the way back to the camp. That's unfortunate. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Maximus. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't really believe there were two mighty, almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clan was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Maximus. And to you, Maximus. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team. Forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Oh yeah, of course, you know, it's what I do. Well, it's not like we just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had your reasons to act as you did. Yeah, like a psychopath! Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any more any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems Maximus has It seems having Maximus about has been a good influence on all. Yeah. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have had no chance getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it though. How is it to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax. I got a plan. Thanks to what Mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, along with its name, it also told me what we needed. The Stone of Creation's Being. Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, and finally, Mighty Dialga says it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have at least. The pieces anyway. I did collect them. When? And the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to the Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about the stone of creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavington? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Indeed, indubitably. Magnus, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weird Air and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved on, upon them? Ah, just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this might maybe a hint that, to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same mineral properties as these plates. 
In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he's been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention, that Volo fellow's come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. That seems like a lead worth following. It's decided. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginnings. Although the name is rather a mouthful. What did you say? I propose we call it Origin Ore. Oh god. Hydra, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lee into the summit camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with my unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Oh my god, Melly. Now, Adamin, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? What's my role in all this? Shut the hell up. That's your role. Be quiet, stay out of my way. I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamin, and make it a good one. Don't. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the other people, keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamin. Ho ho ho! You silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand every anything? Everyone has work they are suited to do and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. I hate him. I hate him so much. I want to throw him off the mountain. I said what I said. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. I hate him. Candy truffles? I've brought Lee in. Oh, thank God. Someone I can have a conversation with. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be one consulted for my wisdom. Hisui's ores and sto stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours? Ex excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both in you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to the stupid, to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Curl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man. Hold on, I don't need to be more like Carmen. But, the man! <clears throat> Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Dialga, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud! Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly! Then let us set out at once. We make for the Primeval, primeval Grotto. Do I get control, please? Alright. <laughs> up, up, and away! Is 
the entrance on the other side? It's gotta be. Oh, through here. Okay, okay, okay. Or not. Uh, okay. I just have to, uh, get past this loony. Okay, knows I'm here. Okay, still hit me. <laughs> hey, droid. Yeah, there, there do be a lot of stuff. Oh, nose pass. Why? Okay, cool. We'll, we'll just uh, ignore you. Oh, man, not much, not much. How are you? Just, you know, streaming and stuff. What a curious cave. I feel some sort of extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Oh, there you go. Nice! Take it into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligoo's moves. I think you better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're going to have to ask you to stop right here, I swear to God. If this is the sisters. Of course! Oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? Hmm. I don't have to tell you nothing. You know her future... You know her future descendant? Is a gym leader? Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after. And then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you look surprised. It's not like... It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but it isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore the, this awful sky to normal. Ugh, the, that earnest goody two shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get it in Leon's way. There are three of you and there are three of us. Let's go, Maximus. You take charm. I 
I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this battle of a lifetime. Yeah, well, I can do that too. On camera. <laughs> All right, Charm. All oh, right, on. That's cute. So what's it gonna be, right on and Gengar? That's one down. Oh, look, it's your Gengar. Ain't that cute? And my Scartomp's drowsy. Agile style. Ooh, that might actually hurt. Yeah, Scartomp wasn't taking a double Shadow Ball. Alright. Then I'll match you Ghost type for Ghost type. Show you an infernal parade. All right, we're done here. Guess you have no charm after all. Well, you are rather for formidable and kind of awesome. Kind of, a little bit, a little bit. I really would have liked for that to have been just a giant triple battle with me, Adamant, and Hydra. But I'll take what I can get. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. And we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all your stupid rules. Look, we'll, we'll let you keep the treasure this time. But you better do something about that sky. You're as strong as ever, Maximus. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. And smoke bombs. Honestly, those three? What did they even come here for? Oh well, heal everyone's Pokemon. Thanks! The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she... Even if she grossed as she did, so... I suspect that they may have been worried about us, perhaps even waiting to, wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Oh, he brought out his Sligoo. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose that I'd better go with you, Maximus. Origin or Stopping a crisis. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising me for my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleavor recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare despite his, spilly, his silly streak. Yeah, he do be silly. There's still a nose passing there. Alright, what else is in here? Because... Oh, are those fossils? Oh, it's Bastiodon and, and Rampardos. Sure, it's another nose pass. Or a Bronzor. Could be a Bronzor. Yeah, we're not gonna. Alright, 
So where am I going? Back up the base. Come on, Sneasler. Get me up there. Another Hisuian Voltorb. I actually want that. the Alpha Luxray, we're just gonna slowly work past. Using Pokeballs to catch Pokemon that look like Pokeballs. Oh, wait a minute. Knock it up there. Is it not this one? I know one of these has... It might not be this area. But I could have sworn one of these had an unknown. Unless I caught it already, which that's also a possibility. So I remember watching someone stream this. And I just happened to catch that. Maybe it is in this area. Yeah, maybe I did already do it. Alright, Lavington. We're back with stuff. So this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the origin or. Hmm, yes. Only can certainly feel an opposing aura emanating from it. Could this be? The feeling the very of the 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 feeling of the very origin itself? I haven't mean to ask you since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Phil What? Alright. Was not ready. Here you are, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broke as it may be. Splendid! Even in pieces, I think we'll find it's still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Maximus. Next comes the Stone of Creation's Beginning. What is going on here? The 
fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. The Stone of Creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these three items into a proper vessel. So you're saying a Master Ball? Akari, my girl. You are one of the, our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, Maximus, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you sh had best wait outside while we work. Alright. Alright. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. Call them out! If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because that'd be using time well, unlike this. We've done it, Maximus! It's complete! I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch that Pokemon that has appeared in front at the Temple of Sinnoh. Oh, it's not a Master Ball. Interesting. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think that the fate of Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of those things brings the two of you closer together. Whoa, hold on. It's that voice. I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialog is willing to lend its strength for this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's Almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready, Mount Maximus. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. I don't know why I nodded. <laughs> Alright. All right, one last run through. Still trying to hit, get me to buy that saw yet, huh? Not until I get Rotom. All right, you have new clothes? Headband, handkerchief, warm cap. Oh, okay. Ninja mask. make this even more anime I mean those are probably better than what I'm wearing now 
Oh, we get full Shinobi attire now. That's cool. Oh, we can get the bandit outfits now too? That's actually interesting. some boots. I mean, these are probably... Nah, we won't, uh... Maybe I'll do it with, uh... In post-game. Because that ninja outfit, I'm not gonna lie, is kinda... Uh, it's kinda heat. But first things first. Of course it's 10,000. Uh, so I'm gonna have to sell stuff to get to that. And then I gotta... There's gonna be a... There is going to be a time, chat, where I'm going to have to, uh, off-screen make money. Alright. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. I need the Stardust for that, actually. Sold all the Stardust, which is what I'm not supposed to do for that recipe, but it'll uh, it's gonna pay off in the long run. Because now, if I go here. So I'll just have to farm up enough of those. And then we can make some money. No, not while I'm trying to look like Kenshin. Oh, hello. And here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet? It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken my, to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you, you'll encounter at the te Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui. And eventually, the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and there lies within hope. Balance will be brought to you t to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Uh, you're gonna make me get Dialga. Literally get Dialga. Yep. 
Yeah, I need the uh Yeah, I need this guy. I guess I'll get rid of the other steel tripe. I guess I'll swap out Scizor. Earth Power, Iron Tail, Flash Cannon, and Roar of Time. Okay. Alright. Just chilling out here today. Oh, Rufflet. Bergmite, Mothum, Ghastly, Yanma, Machoke. Alright, you. Hey, I caught you into a tiny ball. I'm not afraid of you. That's right, get in the ball. And talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothar has to offer. Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Here's your hydrate. Thank you, Poppy. Well, I'll hardly have the time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point, fair point. Facts, facts if you will. Alright, Maximus. Once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Alright. And... Alright, let's go. Yeah, we'll go straight to the summit camp so I don't get distracted. I land shiny sound effect. That would be it. Alright, Commander of Time. Break the door! No, no, we're gonna We're gonna break you in Dialga. I get too cocky. <laughs> Alright, good. I do have... I'm like, do I have berries to restore the PP? Oh, 
Thunder Wave. Electrifier. Ah, oh, the paralysis. Why? Earth power time. Alright, get it one shot. Let's try to catch another alpha. Why not? All right, we tried it. No choice now. It still did in one shot. Mastery and Grit Gravel. Let's make our way through. Oh, I was gonna say, Benny, you can't be here. You're back in... Oh, Volo, why? Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be hel helpful, to, uh, to the, helpful to you if I set up shop cl here, close to the temple. I want to have a front row seating if there's a chance I get to see the world of myth and legend, I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have the whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. All right, but you can offer me nothing. There you go, you served your purpose. Oh, we're right. let's get into this final battle. At least I hope so. When this die out, hello portal.
I'm waiting for Volo to be slowly creeping up behind me. What's up? For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. At least I hope so. Hey, Maximus, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? It's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both be you'll both stay safe. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Maximus, protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. All right. All right, Palkia. What the? Thanks, Dialga. This is a cool cutscene. with this oh yeah cuz you know space bombs oh okay can't get close can't get close oh okay you're, you're, you're still dropping Draco meteors okay cool Okay, okay. How did I not die? I feel like that was easier than Arcanine. And Electrode. And just all of them for that matter. Origin Ball go? Alright, it did its three shakes. That was nifty.
and the sky is cleared. He caught it. He really did it, didn't he? My eyes are in line, right? He actually went and caught it? Yes. Oh, good show. What a catch. You contain that fearsome thing in, in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Maximus. Thanks, Sinnoh. Formidable as usual, Maximus. Hmm. <laughs> yes. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Hmm. Ouch. What gives, commander? Not sure I deserve the sumo throw. Hmm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Um. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival of us all. Gather your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate? With the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we're both fo following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times where we'd fight over who was wrong or right is ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path towards protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all of those who live in the Hisui region. We're not done here. Oh, we are not done here at all. All right. All right, that wasn't, that was good. Not the worst story, but that was definitely, that was a lot of fun. Now I can't wait to actually like go back in and like do the post game and all that fun stuff. But I liked it. It's definitely one of my... It's definitely up there. I really do want to say this is the best game ever. Like, just with the way it was handled. The execution. Like, running around and, like, just chucking balls at Pokemon. And actually having to, like... You know, sneak up on them. Like, the actual elements to it. The alphas, which are... Ridiculous. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, I know I'm a big Pokemon fan, but, like, I definitely, like, vibed in this game. I actually want to see how many hours I've thrown into this when, um, the credits rolled. And I, I really, like, I want to complete this deck. I want to just keep playing this game. Like, I, I want to 100% this, and that sounds weird to, well, not weird to say in a Pokemon game, but, like, it's a different type of 100%. And I know, like, right now, like, I know this post-game and a post-post game, which we will do live on stream. 
And I also want to just make this clear too. I am not forgetting about my Nuzlocke nor my Giratina Shiny Hunt. Um, so I got to figure out how I'm going to sprinkle this all in. I might... So I might dedicate one day a week, maybe a day or two, to the Nuzlocke. And then like, maybe a day to uh, Hunt Giratina. You know, play Reset Simulator. Um, But the majority, like, I really wanna, like, this game is just a lot of fun to play and a lot of fun to stream. And now that, actually, actually, now that that's, uh, now that this is done, now that the playthrough's done, I need to check one thing. Oh, no! Oh, no. Thank you for adventuring with us. All right, the sound alerts are back on. I'm going to regret this. The arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. And I just wake up in bed. And I call Palkia. All right, I think that's a... Uh... The new day, new day dawns. All right, this is actually perfect. So, I oh, see you, you jump back in and you forget how to operate the game. I'm gonna drop a hard save here, and actually, well, what time is it? Nine o two. Yeah, actually, so this is where we are gonna end today, chat. We just beat the main story, and uh, we're going to see what uh, post-game shenanigans happen. And I will be live maybe tomorrow. De if, not t if not Saturday, definitely Sunday. Early-ish. Ish. But with all that, thank you all for watching, and this is Maximus Prime rolling out.